Hello everyone, today we are doing our full face first impression based on all of the stuff or some of the stuff I got in my PR unboxing haul which I uploaded as my previous video which I will link below if you want to go see it if you did miss it. I have my gigantic coffee here. We are going to dive straight in. I have some affordable stuff to try and some high end stuff so I'm very excited and I will link below my previous two first impressions, full face first impressions. One of them went terrible and one of them went amazing so make sure you check them out we are going to start with our base because i have heaps of affordable base products i feel like i may have tried one or two of these things but i can't actually really remember but we're just going to use like this stuff as the base today because i've actually heard amazing things i think about this range here and the like rose gold packaging have i tried it have i not i cannot remember you guys like literally this is what happens when i do too many first impressions but anyways we're gonna give it a go so we're gonna dig through here and try to find a primer first of all there's so many things there's so many different kinds as well oh my gosh oh by the way this is all makeup revolution which is so affordable and you guys know i love this brand like i love their contour kits and contour powders and highlighters and yeah there's heaps of stuff I love by them so we've got a hydrate and prime primer we've got a pore blur primer we've got a mattify primer we've got it all guys we've got everything you could ever need we have a hyaluronic fix hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray and there's, oh, there's all sorts of stuff here there's even eyeshadows prime and lock eyeshadow prime this is a huge eyeshadow primer anyways okay Ooh, bake powder I'm getting very sidetracked right now. Let's try the Hydrate first of all, because you guys know me, I love a hydrating base. I've got normal to drier skin, so I really like products like this, and I always like a kind of glowy finish as well, so I feel like hydrating primers kind of help. Ooh, it's very runny. Hydrate and Prime Primer, make a revolution. Cruelty free, PETA approved. All the good stuff. Doesn't have a smell. It kind of does, it's almost like Kind of coconutty. I don't know. This has jojoba in it. Mint. I love jojoba. Okay. Yeah, this feels so moisturizing. It kind of feels like the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which you guys know is one of my favorites. Like, it feels very similar to that. And I feel like the more I rub it in, it gets a slightly kind of tacky finish, which I really like for, you know, putting foundation on top of. Helps just stick it on there. Yeah, honestly, like, first impression, that feels really good. It's kind of cooling as well. I want to try the tiniest bit of this pore blur primer as well, just because I'm very curious. This one, I'm assuming, is kind of like professional. Yeah, it's like a thick... Oh, look at this. Kind of creepy. Oh, I'm just going to use a small amount. And just, holy crap, that rain is so loud. Wow, I hope you guys can't hear it. I'm just going to put it over my nose area. I never do this. I, I'm literally just doing this for this video because I'm so curious to see how it works. Okay, so I'm probably going to give this away to one of you guys in my giveaway because I just don't really like super matte finishes most of the time. Okay, now we're going to try the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, which, yeah, I've heard really amazing things about. I've seen it so many times on, like, Instagram videos. I watch a lot of Instagram TV and Instagram makeup tutorials and stuff, like when I'm at the gym and stuff. They're just quick and satisfying to watch. So I'm going to try this myself. I don't think I've tried this. If anything, I feel like I may have tried the concealer before, but I could be wrong. I don't really know what color I need. I probably should actually suss that out before I begin. <laughs> I reckon like all of the shades are going to be too dark. It looks so much like my Clinique 2-in-1 foundation, the applicator, which I love the Clinique version. I don't know if this is supposed to be a dupe or not, but it kind of sounds like it because it's called Conceal and Define, and the Clinique one's meant to be like foundation and concealer in one. I really like I actually haven't used that in a while, but I really like it. Okay, actually first I'm going to go in with concealer and kind of carve out my eyebrows because... I just like to do that, you guys know. So I'm going to go in with the shade C4. And I'm going to put that, oh, it's so creamy, just around my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use my dual petal brush and just carve them out nicely. And even though my eyebrows aren't really tinted anymore, it still really gives them a nice shape. This concealer is like super creamy. Hold on, let me like zoom you all the way in just so you can see like how it applies. And the coverage seems good so far, but we'll be able to tell better once I put it under my eyes. And it's blending out so easy. So once again, this color is C4. I actually feel like this color is really good for me right now. Okay, that is so freaking smooth. I'm actually kind of like shocked. I'm just like blending what's left on my brush onto my eyelid and look how good that coverage is. Like can you see that like immediately? I really hope this um, stays really nicely throughout the day because that's actually really good. Maybe I tried a different concealer that was like similar. 
I feel like I tried like, was it the same packaging except not rose gold? Uh, I don't know, but this is gonna stay in my collection if it doesn't increase. Okay, I love that. I got some in my eyebrow, but we'll fix that later. Because I can't find my Q-tips. So for the foundation, I've only got kind of like darker shades by the looks of it. Starting at F5, so I guess I'll start with F5 because I've got no fake tan on right now on like my neck and chest area. It's like all peeling off really badly. So F5, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm going to just, I don't, I'm just gonna start with this. Cause the last time I did a full face first impression, I was using that milk foundation and holy shit man, it went far. So I'm kind of learning my lesson. I'm gonna put it all the way up under my eyes. I'm still gonna use the concealer too. Okay, blending out real nice. I like the finish. It's kind of like a matte, except I guess, cause I've got that primer underneath. It's not like dull, you know what I mean? Like it still looks nice and radiant, but not like super dewy. That spread it out really easily. I'm gonna add some more now and see how it goes. You can see it's too dark for me, but once again, this is the lightest shade I do have on me. And I'm using a flawless finish sponge just to blend this out. Can you see that difference? That's so smooth. Honestly, I hope this goes real well because I love finding new like drugstore and affordable foundations. Um, you can get Makeup Revolution at Farmers as well, guys. And they've got like a real good range. Kind of doing half of my face right now, just so you can see the difference. And this necklace is gonna get foundation all over it, but oh well. By the way, I think my jewelry is from Miss, not Misguided, um, White Fox Boutique. I think, if not that, then probably Misguided or Pretty Little Thing. I've got some like real similar jewelry, and I can never remember which shop it's from because I buy off like all of those places. That looks so good. I'm so happy. Okay, let's finish. I'll just do this quickly off camera and we'll come back and try the concealer under our eyes next. Okay, it's all on and honestly, like, I think it looks real good. I'm gonna zoom you all the way in. I feel like that's a little bit too dark, hold on. It looks so smooth, like, everywhere. Um, you can see it didn't perfectly cover, like, my redness down here, but it still did a really good job of covering it. I'd say it's more of, like, a medium coverage. I didn't really try to layer it up too much. I'm just trying to figure out what color concealer I can use on these breakouts. This is shade C6. Let's have a look and see. Maybe a little bit too dark. I mean, dark light. The concealer is pretty good coverage. Got a couple of stubborn, like, real dark spots here, but definitely helped. I'm gonna go back in with the shade C4, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and on my inner kind of corner next to my nose where it gets super dark, and just a little bit around the sides of my nose. I mean, the primer seems to be doing a good job. I don't notice my foundation sliding around on top of that pore filling one either, which is nice, because I find some pore filling primers just go real slippery and kind of just make my foundation shift a lot. So overall, like I'm pretty pleased with both of those products. The foundation's definitely matter than what I'm used to, but like I said, with that primer underneath, still has a nice enough finish. It doesn't look dry and crusty, like a skin still looks nice and lowery, you know, but without being like super glowy or anything. So if you do like a more matte finish, like I think this is a nice matte finish, it's not a heavy, ugly matte. <laughs> the concealer did a pretty good job. I'd say it's not like the most full coverage concealer I've ever used, but it's still like good enough. And it's real creamy and easy to blend out. I really especially liked it around my eyebrows. Like, I just think it looks beautiful around there. I'm just adding a little bit more on the side. I think my under eye circles are like just past the point of being saved at this stage. I'm really loving that Pixie Corrector lately, the one that I used in my last first impression. Oh my God, I can't talk. Full face first impression. I've used it a few times and yeah, I really like it. I'm just going to use my normal powders to set this because I really want to see how it looks with my normal routine. If I use a new powder, like like I say, so many powders just don't agree under my eyes especially. So I'd rather just use stuff I know I like. So I'm going to use my um, Well Rested under my eyes and then my Max Studio Fix powder and I'll be right back. I am so dumb. I forgot to try the Tantor or whatever it's called. I'll try it in another video, I promise, because I'm really looking forward to trying it, but it's like a cream product. I should have used it before my powder. I got way too ahead of myself and way too excited about the foundation. Anyway, I think it looks really pretty. Oh, I've got like an eye booger that's fallen off my face. Um, the foundation set so easily. Like it had already kind of set by itself into like a soft kind of matte kind of finish, but I just added some more powder. Um, and it definitely looks more matte now because the Studio Fix powder is pretty matte, but it doesn't look dusty still. I'm pretty impressed and I would always follow up with setting spray anyway. One more look close up guys, just so you can see this is how it looks in the dark lighting because you can see the best. I have a bit of creasing under my eyes, um, probably a little bit more than normal like compared to my NARS concealer or anything like that, but it's not horrendous. 
as long as it doesn't get worse. But I'll be putting eyeshadow there anyway, so we'll see how it looks by the end of the video. I'm going to try out the Hyaluronic Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. Sounds amazing. Hyaluronic acid is really good in skincare for hydration. I don't like the scent of it, but it is actually quite a fine mist. I feel like I've tried a different Makeup Revolution setting spray that didn't have such a fine mist. So I'm impressed by that. And it definitely did perk up my foundation a little bit. Just soaked up any excess powders. Looks good. Alright, so I'm going to work on my eye makeup now. I'm going to quickly just fill in my eyebrow a little bit where I got some foundation in it, concealer in it. We have this Tattoo Brow by Maybelline. So let's give it a go. I'm loving how many drugstore products we have to try today. I'm going to use the brush that it comes with. Looks like this. It looks like um, the brow tattoo kind of packaging. You know, the cream eyeshadows that I actually love as well. This is the color I've kept. It is in the shade medium brown because I do like a bit of a darker brow to go with my roots. So you know the drill by now. If you've been watching any of my tutorials lately, I just like to fill any of this baskets and leave the rest alone. So I'm literally just going to put a little bit of it just up here. A little bit in the tail perhaps, like where I've just got some spots of boldness. Beautiful. This feels quite balmy. Like it's not super like melty when you put your brush in it, which I like. Because if you have a pomade that's too creamy, it just like looks really too bold, you know? I don't even know if I'm making sense today, like, I'm struggling with life. I like to kind of like underline this front part of my eyebrow and like pull the product upwards just so it's like sheerer and then run any excess through the rest of the brow. The color is literally like perfect, I have to say that. I'm actually really enjoying this. Hooray for first impressions where stuff goes well, I love that for me. I'm finding it very easy to use. And what else can I say? Like it seems to be working really nicely. Have you guys tried this before? Let me know what you thought of it as well down below. And then I'm going to run just a little bit. I don't think I have a new brow mascara. I'm just going to run a little bit of this Anastasia Beverly Hills one just to set the brows in place so that they don't move around. And just in case I've got any like, whoops, rogue powder that have landed inside there. I just feel like my eyebrows look so much better when I fill them in this way. Like less product, outline them and just make the most of like my brow tattoos and everything. Because I used to just kind of like smash... Um, powder, foundation, concealer, everything all over my face when I do my base and then redraw in my eyebrows which is just like really a waste of time so I'm glad I've started doing it this way. Now let's try the eye primer by Makeup Revolution. It is called the Prime and Lock Longwear Eyeshadow Primer. It's huge. You get six mil. Oh I feel like it looks like more than that but I don't know maybe I'm wrong. It comes in this huge doe foot applicator. Feels very liquidy. Quick life hack as well. If you're worried about your sunglasses or glasses rubbing off your makeup on the sides of your nose, you can use a tinted eyeshadow primer. I especially love like the Smashbox one and the Benefit one. You can use that underneath your foundation, then put on concealer, then put on your foundation, then set it really, really well with powder, like pack on the powder, and it'll really help to like stick it all down. Then I'm just gonna use my paddle brush again and just blend this out. I feel like it's kind of making the powder and everything underneath like separate a little bit. I'm kind of fussy with my eye primers because I've found a few that work really well with me. Like, see what I mean? It's just kind of like separating everything. You can tell when it's real dark. But once we put our eyeshadow on top, it should even out a little bit, hopefully. Um, should we try the Alyssa Edwards palette or my uh, Latte Kitten palette? Or I've got the new Natasha Denona Sunrise palette or I've got my new Jouer palette. There's too many choices. I think I might go with my Jouer palette. So we're gonna go with the shade Beachaholic first on a fluffy blender brush. And I'm going to just start blending this into the crease. Okay, this primer feels so slippery. I don't really like the primer. It's the only thing so far that's like bad to me. Not bad, but yeah, bad to me personally. If you've tried it and you're like, let me know how you use it, but for me I just feel like it's too slippery, like I want it to be a bit more tacky or something, just to stick the like eyeshadow on. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's too slippery. I'm just making up this eye look as I go. I'm so excited about this palette, you guys. Look how beautiful it is. I didn't really show it enough just then. Like, look at those shades. That blue is amazing. I love how there's like some really wearable corals. There's some pops of color. Like, it's just actually beautiful. Like, I wish I thought of this first. Sometimes you just don't know what you have until you find... Wait, you sometimes... Wait, how... Sometimes you don't know what you want until you have it. Is that 
it, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to be philosophical, like just call me Jaden Smith. Okay, this is just like a really nice light, um, soft coral based color. Pinky coral. I can't really tell if the pigmentation's good or not because it's such a light color plus this base just isn't agreeing with me. So that's what it looks like so far. Let's try a bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna go in with Driftwood. I love that name. And my like the brush is picking up like a lot of products. So let's see how it looks. I'm just gonna kind of put it all over the lid and into the crease. I mean, that's way more pigmented. I guess it was just that color I was using before wasn't so dark. So pretty. I actually love this color. It's a really nice kind of coolish toned like almost like, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know. It's a really nice brown. I'm so bad at colors. Like you would have thought I would have learned better by now, but apparently not. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm just doing a very blended look and then I'm going to pop some shimmer on top because the shimmers in this palette are too hard to resist, like genuinely. I'm just going to blend a little bit of this underneath my eye too, but I think I'll do a pop of color, but just to kind of smoke out my lash line a bit. I actually feel like it's more pigmented underneath where I did not put the eye primer. So I think the eye primer is kind of messing with some of the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. Because that just like went on so much quicker. Let's just try swatching it once. So one swipe. And one swipe. That one's obviously just like a very sheer kind of, not sheer color, but like it matches my eye color. Okay, I'm going to go in with the shade Tankini because this is the most amazing kind of like duochrome kind of color almost. It's like brown and peach at the same time. So I'm just going to try it dry on a dense shadow brush and I'm just going to pat that on top of my eyelid. I feel like dry it's just picking up more of the glitter. Let's try it wet because I feel like we can do better than that. It's just not translating well with a brush. Do I need to use my finger or something? I'll try it with my finger on the other eye. Like this is a wet brush. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I just had to pick up more product. It almost has like a wet look um, when the brush is damp. On my other eye, I'm just gonna use my finger. It looks very similar. I have to say I'm a little bit underwhelmed with this color. Like I thought it would be way more shimmery. Like it's pretty still, but it's more of like a wet look, um, wet. Or like dry, it's just a bit glittery. It's not really like a shimmery, duochrome effect like what I might have thought it would have been but it does still look pretty I don't know I don't know how to feel so that's how it looks also the primer could have had something to do with it I don't know underneath my eyes I'm going to do teal because I've not worn teal in the longest time I'm going to start with um this is called Zulu by Colourpop and I'm just popping this in at the waterline these eyeliners like I've talked about it before. I've got a love-hate relationship with them. Some of the colors are better than others. And then also, like, they're very dry, so they can snap so easily. You do have to build them up. But once they're on, like, I feel like they last so well. So I still like to use them, and I like the colors, but they're very fiddly. And then underneath my eyes, where is my brush? I'm going to use this concealer brush, and I'm going to use vitamin C, which is this color right here. On my finger, let's see how it looks. It looks way more pigmented. I'm gonna try it dry on a brush. And I'm going to just smoke this underneath my lash line. That's, yeah, this color's like performing way better than that tan line's color, which is so weird. And that's dry as well. I have to swatch the bl uh, bluey purple. I don't know what to call it, because it's kind of like a duochrome bluey purple color. In certain angles, it looks more purple, but like, look how amazing that one is. Like, I really want to use that, but just not right now. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use my brush again underneath just to blend the bottom. So overall, I feel like the eyeshadow palette is a bit hit and miss for me, unfortunately. Like, some of the colors are amazing, and then some of them I'm like, meh. I'm going to take the shade uh, Sure Thing and just pop some. Wait, this one's like, it almost feels like a cream. Is it a cream eyeshadow? Some of them cream eyeshadows. I'm just like matte shimmer and lax for honestly it feels like a cream on my finger I'm so like tripped out right now I don't know what's happening I'm just gonna apply some of that on top just to make the look a little bit more like honestly it feels like cream I'm like it says it's a matte shimmer and lax foil eyeshadow palette like you can tell these ones are more foiled oh, I'm so confused okay this color is amazing though like it goes on so nice gonna add some more driftwood the darker brown I feel like it's faded a lot but once again I reckon it's the eye primer Honestly, I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner in black. I haven't tried this before. Please be a brush tip. Oh my god, it's like a felt tip, which is like actually one of my favorites. Okay, this reminds me of what was the eyeliner back in the day and it had a felt tip like this. Can anyone remember? Like, please refresh my memory. It used to be my holy grail. Ooh, it's very pigmented. 
I always get like these little lines on this eye because my eyelids are really saggy and <laughs> so it like pulls my skin. <sighs> just threw it. Oh my god. Pretty easy to apply. I'm just stopping like a third in just to create a super cat eye effect. I actually ended up going all the way in. Just thin though in the inner corner. The only feedback I have for this is I do have to go over it like a little bit in some spots just to make it darker. It's not like the blackest black eyeliner I own. But it's very easy to use and I think it came out alright. Do I have any mascara? I feel like I got some new mascara. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where they are guys. We're just gonna go with my Lights Camera Lashes because I feel like they're all coloured. Did I get some? I feel like I got like refills of my old favourites but they're not new to me or anything so I'll just use something that's already open because I've got so many open at the moment. And then I'm going to use some lashes. I don't know which ones to try. These are the Asteria Glam by Tarte Vegan Lashes. I don't know which pair. Maybe these ones. I don't know. These ones are the 0 to 100. I think they're called 0 to 100 maybe. They come with glue as well. All right, the lashes are on and I think they look super, super pretty. I need to get some mascara on my eyes. I'm just gonna try and flick it off with my brush because I've like literally run out of Q-tips. Like, who am I? Who do I think I am? I don't know. All right, next up we have it, the City Bronzer by Maybelline. This looks like such a beautiful undertone. It's just in the shade Light Cool 100. I wonder if I can contour with it. I'm gonna give it a go. Let's just see what happens. I'm using a domed contour brush. It looks like a really nice depth. Yeah, this is still a bit too orange for me. Nice depth of color for me, just for like a nice light bronze, but for contrary, it's not dark enough. So I'm just gonna use it on a, this is my hair on it, a medium face brush as an actual bronzer. Do they have darker colors? Cause I want a darker tone. I feel like that undertone's so pretty but in like a shade darker would be perfect. This is definitely still giving me a light bronze effect, but you know me. I like something a little bit more dramatic. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit. It's so easy to blend, like just like that other Maybelline bronzer that I rave about, which I think is discontinued. This is very powdery, like a lot of powder comes off, but it just like goes on so easily, like it's effortless. So I actually like it and it's buildable, which I like as well. So I'm just putting that on my cheeks, chin, nose, temples. It definitely helped give me dimension, so I'm pretty happy. I'm just gonna do a light contour with my contour palette by Chi Chi. I really like this color number six up in the corner. You can see that it's just a bit more cool tone, a little bit darker, so it gives me a better contour line. Oh, I think I went overboard, looking chiseled as heck. Oh well, we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> and then I have a blush duo from Jouer, which looks so pretty. I'll show you up close, but it's called the Cheeky Summer Blush Duo in terracotta sands and hot coral look at this color like this is a better accurate representation um there's one color and then the other one's a darker like burnt terracotta color so pretty they both have like a shine to them which i like for blush and bronzer and stuff because i really like to have a glow i'm gonna take the lighter one first oh it's actually really pretty i thought i couldn't see it at first but you definitely can Oh god, I put on way too much contour. YOLO. And it gives you like the most intense shine. Can you see that? I'm gonna do a little bit of the terracotta color too, just to darken it up a little bit. That's so pretty. I feel like if you have do little bit, if you have super dark skin, um, it's probably not gonna be dark enough for you. I think this is better for like light to medium skin tones, because the light pink barely shows up on my skin tone. It still does, but it's not like intense. Just put some on my nose as well. And then to highlight, I'm gonna try this Revlon draping palette in Paradise Lights. Once again, this looks beautiful. Hold on, it's not focusing. Three different colors. There's like a gold, a light champagne, and a darker pinky color, kind of color. So we are going to take, which color? Let's start with the lightest one. I'm gonna take it on my detail face brush. It looks so pigmented. And I'm just going light-handed. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna cough. Going light-handed, cause I'm scared I'm gonna apply way too. Oh, that's so pretty. It's got like a kind of pink undertone to it. And I thought it was gonna be real white, but it actually looks really pretty. I like this. It's like intense, but it's not like strappy intense. Do you know what I mean? Like it's super shiny, but it blends well with my skin tone. I feel like that's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like this would work with a lot of different skin tones. Let's, whoops, swatch each one. Like, that one's probably way too dark for my skin tone, but like, look, this would be nice for like a makeup artist kit because you've got something for almost anyone here. Once again, it's a little bit powdery, but 
it applies so nice and it's so easy to blend. I actually really like that. That color is stunning. I'm going to put some on my chin. Keep it bow. And I'm also going to take a little bit of it on my inner corner. And maybe just a little bit on my brow bone. It's like so shiny, but it doesn't look like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I like it. I'm going to do a little bit more of my Hyaluronic Fix Spray. Just to soak up any excess powders because we did use a kind of powdery highlighter and bronzer. This will solve the problem. Make it blend and melt into the skin a bit better. Oh, I hate the scent of it. It smells like hospital, but it works well. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't like linger. Okay. I'm obsessed with how my eyebrows look today too. I love the color of that Maybelline product and it works so good. And I love the lashes. And I love the eyeliner on the bottom lash line. Okay, lipstick. Let's try one of these new Anastasia matte liquid, not liquid, matte lipsticks. There are four different shades. This is what the packaging looks like. It's real cute. So this one here is in it, the shade Coconut, which, oh, they're mini. Stop. This is a beautiful, like, brownie, like, brown-based pinky kind of nude color. Here we go with the um explanations of color again this is guava oh my gosh it's got like a shimmer in it it's like an orangey kind of shimmer then we have the shade orange blossom which is more of a terracotta kind of nude shade very pretty and then the last one we have is lychee matte lipstick wait how's this matte it's got shimmer all through it it's like a pinky color with i don't even think you're going to be able to tell can you see? Is that actually like a shimmer? I don't know. There you go. You can see but it, Oh god, it's not wanting to focus on it. But can you see what I mean? Like it's got a kind of shine in it. I don't know how that's matte. It's like glittery. I don't know what color to do. Maybe more like orange to go with the eye makeup. Orange Blossom Matte Lipstick. Let's give this one a go. It's so cute. I'm not going to use lip liner. We're just going to dive in. I don't know why, but I feel like this color is going on really streaky. It's like not super full coverage. Can you see that? I love like normal Anastasia Beverly Hills bullet lipsticks. I've used a few of them, but this one's like patchy. Eh, I don't know how to feel. Let me just show you real close up. Like I rub it into my lips. It looks like okay-ish, but it's just not very opaque. I'm going to try layering on top coconut. This one seems creamier. This color is way smoother than the orange one. I might have just got a dud. Random lip combination, but it actually kind of looks really legit. So there we have it, the finished look. A lot of good products again, especially from the drugstore and affordable range. Let me know what you want me to try next and I can do that for you. If there's any other palette you saw in this video that I didn't use, like maybe the, oh, every time I look at this packaging, I just want to cry. It's so pretty. You know, anything else you want to say, just hit me up. I've got so much content planned for you guys and I'm very excited about it. Um, thank you for being patient with me, by the way, for me only uploading two beauty videos a week instead of three lately. I've just had such a full, full on a lot time lately. <laughs> I've got so much travel. I've got my engagement party coming up. I've got family coming. I've just got so much on the go. I'm planning some meetups. I'm planning... Oh, so many trips and you know, it's just very stressful behind the scenes as well as trying to get out my eyeshadow palette and I'm working on some other stuff with Exo, Exo Beauty. I can't even talk like I'm just overwhelmed. So thank you guys so much for being um, patient with me. You know, I will be back to three uploads a week at some stage, but while I'm hectic, I'd rather just take a step back and put out good content rather than rushed content. So yeah, I'm planning on filming with some family members and friends soon as well and maybe another video with my mum so that'll be fun. And if there's anything else you guys want to see just hit me up. We've got another wish video coming soon, the other bridal video, we've got some other try on hauls and stuff planned so I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for sticking by me. Your support means the world to me. Literally I love you guys so much. You make my day, your tweets, your pictures on Instagram stories. Thank you so much for tagging me and sharing the love. Like, honestly, I can't express my thanks more. Make sure you go check out my unboxing, which was my previous video as well, to this, because there is a giveaway. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.